the ERLC interim leadership has sent out some emails to their email list, which somehow I'm on. Uh, I'm not sure why. How you're seeing this stuff because I haven't. Yeah. Uh, but summarizing the year and the direction of the ERLC. And what they're, what the emphasis is on, <clears throat> do you know what they're emphasizing? Is the, the, the good work that the ERLC is currently doing. I, if it's race and sexual abuse stuff, is that what they're still emphasizing? No. Oh, no. I, I thought, okay, don't, no. don't, if, no. if Russell left for nothing, that would be terrible. No, no. Um, there, it emphasizes their work on pro-life causes mm-hmm. and religious liberty. There you go. So there's zero mention of the Me Too movement, zero mention of abuse, zero mention of any race issues mm-hmm. whatsoever. So the, have you seen that, that picture, uh, by the Detroit artist that was the whitewashing of history and it's a, a, a composite painting of uh, black civil rights leaders. And then there's a white guy standing in front of it, literally rolling white across the painting. Oh, no, I haven't. And, and that's the painting. It's a painting of a painting being whitewashed. These, these historical black figures. A little on the nose. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it might be, well, it's, it's all over their whole faces. It's not just their nose. So... It feels like what the ERLC needed to do was reconform to conservative political priorities, uh, n- not conservative theological priorities, but conservative political priorities to reassure the donor base, the you know the audience, uh, the conservative churches within the the SBC, basically saying, "Don't worry, we're back in line." Well, don't you think this this is this has nothing to do with theology? This has nothing to do with Zero. the mission of the gospel. It has nothing Zero. to do with the church. It has everything to do with the main the maintenance and the maintaining of established structures. 